Dermal's still directing his western movie, and things are getting dangerous in these parts. Miss Arlene is trapped in a stagecoach. The stage has been sabotaged by men working for the baddest of bad guys, Doc Whipple. How will our heroes get out of this alive? How should I know? I'm only the narrator. Yes, I know you've been on the Garfield show a few times, but we're doing a Western here. There's no place in it for sloth people. Wait! This movie does need something. Maybe it needs sloth people. It might work. Okay, I'll find a place for you. And I'll get you guys into the movie. And me, and me, 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 me. Yes, you, 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 you. Garfield, get ready for the big runaway stagecoach scene. Well, now that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm the star of this movie. Why, why am I doing my own stunts? Because, baby, we want realism. Because we want authenticity. And because I spent so much money on ninjas, I can't afford stunt cats. Well, how about instead of me risking my life, we do it in CGI? Do you know how phony CGI always looks? Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, quiet on the set. <laughs> that means you too, ninjas. Okay, remember, you're about to be run over by a runaway stagecoach. Normal. What's my motivation in this scene? The motivation is to not be run over by a runaway stagecoach. Got it. Ah! Perfect. All right, action! Garfield, ah! save me! Quick, Odie. We'll head her off by taking a shortcut. Garfield! Of course there's a shortcut. This is a Western movie, isn't it? There's a shortcut to everything. Fortunately, I always carry a map of shortcuts. We have to turn on Buttram Boulevard. I need to ask someone where it is. Excuse me, do you know where Buttram Boulevard is? Thanks. Hi, Arlene. Going on a trip? That sounds like fun. Garfield, save me! <laughs> hey, guys, look. <laughs> Do you see the stagecoach? <laughs> wow! All right, Odie. I'm the hero of this movie. That means I have to do at least one really, really stupid thing. And this is it. I wrote this. Here goes. <laughs> Yes! So, uh, what do I do now? Why don't you try unhooking the horses? I would have thought of that! Eventually. Okay, unhooking the horses. What do you reckon's gonna happen to that stagecoach? I'm just glad I'm not fooling it. Garfield, how do we stop this thing? No problem, Miss Arlene. With the horses disconnected, it'll just come to a sort of a natural stop all its own. Unless, of course, we come to a very steep downhill section of road. Our heroes are truly in trouble indeed. They're trapped in a wagon that's picking up speed. Whatever they do, it continues to roll. The stagecoach is utterly out of control. Odds are not good that the two will survive, especially since there is no one to drive. It looks like they're gonna wind up in a hole. The stagecoach is totally out of control. Destruction. 
destruction is looming wherever they turn. So there is a lesson you all ought to learn. If living a long life's a principal goal, don't ride the coach that is out of control. Oh, great. We're doomed and some rat is singing songs about it. I'm afraid it said, bridge out. Oh. Arlene, I want you to know that that other woman meant nothing to me. Although she did say she'd make me cannelloni. Uh. It wasn't supposed to end like this, I think. Well, where's my script? Mustache mob, scene in fetos, ninjas. Ah, uh -huh. here it is. We see the stagecoach crash into the canyon and splinter into a million pieces. Oh, no. Angle on a tree near the edge of the cliff. We see Garfield and Arlene clinging to an overhanging branch crab and grab them just in time. Oh. Thank you, Garfield. I'd do anything for you, Miss Arlene. Would you eat health food? <laughs> I said, would you eat health food? I'm thinking it over. <laughs> We're sorry, Doc. We tried to get rid of that deputy, but someone messed up. It doesn't matter. I can use that incident with the stagecoach to get the sheriff fired. Just watch me. <laughs> Good to see you too, boy. Anything happen in town while we were away? What's he saying? There's some sort of protest rally in the town square. And so I say to you, good people of this town, when a runaway stagecoach threatened our citizens, did Sheriff John Arbuckle come to our aid? Well, I don't know. I know. No. And has he succeeded in capturing the nefarious mustache mob? No, no, no. I don't think so. He didn't. And he's had plenty of time, too. He's been sheriff since, let's see, just before noon. The mustache mob is a menace to our town. And if Sheriff John can't catch them, we need a new sheriff. And get rid of his deputies while we're at it. People, I know I'm new on the job, but have you caught the mustache mob yet? Well, no, but if you'll just let me... Did you stop the runaway stagecoach? Well, no, I didn't, but my deputy happened to be... Have you done anything about the rising prices of candy bars? What? He's right. Candy bars keep costing more and more. The price of hats is going up, too. My pizzeria was half destroyed by a brawl. Uh, can I be the new sheriff? If you'll just let me finish. Uh, I'm new on the job. I'm doing my best. Woody, I think you and I just got out of the deputy business. Arbuckle, but the townspeople are demanding it. <sighs> I understand, Mayor. Here's my badge, Garfield's badge, and Odie's badge. If the rest of you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a while. <laughs> Here's your badge, Sheriff Clyde. Here's your deputy, Zeke. And your deputy, Luke. I leave the Sheriff's office in your hands. Uh, excuse me, Mayor, but wasn't there something else you were supposed to do? Something about the contents of a safe? <laughs> oh, oh, this is so sad. You think this is sad? Wait till you hear John's big solo coming up. Sleep. Star. 
are on my chest Wanted to uphold the law of the West Cowboy life has always been my dream My horse and I would be an awesome team Combination is 25, 13, 25. That's right. <laughs> Just remember that and remember not to give that map to anyone. Oh, we'd never let anyone have the map to Glitter Gulch, would we, guys? No, 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 no chance not a chance. Chance. No way. All right. Good night, guys. Good, Good night, night, Mr. Mayor. Mayor. <laughs> We've got it! We've got the map to the City of Gold! I've got the map to the City of Gold. We leave first thing in the morning, and by nightfall, I'm fixing to be the richest man in the world! And cut! Great job, guys! We'll break for lunch. Lunch? Oh, first good idea you've had today. Uh, you gonna get something? Not right now. I have an idea. A brilliant idea. Hey. An idea so great, I don't know why it didn't occur to me 67 pages ago. I know what this movie needs. The thing that every movie needs. The thing that is guaranteed to make this movie the biggest hit ever. Really? What does it need? It needs me. 